Okay, so nice to meet you too. Uh, Mr. Tommy Twitch. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say happy birthday to you. Thank uh, you. Thank you so much. It's about uh, two two more hours, and my birthday is over. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Uh, you're gonna get uh, hold another concert in Indonesia again. Uh, the last time you hold a concert is uh, last year, 2015, in Jakarta. Yes. Yes. So is there any special? Sir, I did theme? a concert in New Year's Eve. Yeah. Is there any special theme or? My new concert is going to be next week in solo on, part yeah. on June 4th, and I'm going to be doing songs that I've never performed before. I oh, went on Twitter uh, about a couple weeks ago and I asked my fans what songs they'd like to me to perform and they made some suggestions from my career and it's been really fun and exciting to bring some of those songs back to life. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing all my fans in Indonesia again and I was not only um, not only will I be singing songs like A Shoulder to Cry On and I'll Be Your Everything, but I'll be singing some uh, fans' favorites from some of my albums. I'm very excited about it. Um, so is, is that uh, new songs or uh, your previous songs that, that you have sang on the stage? Yeah, all the songs that I will be performing are on my albums that have been released in Indonesia. I see. However, yeah. There's a couple songs that are old songs, but I've never performed them live. Some okay. of the oldies and goodies. So that'll be the surprise. Oh, I put together a new surprise. Yeah. I put together a new album uh, called My Favorites, and it's mm -hmm. it. I took I went through my entire collection of music since I started, and I chose all of the songs that I love the most, and I put them together on one album. Including my new version of I Break Down, which I put out last year. And yeah, yeah. also, I put out a record called Ten Till Midnight, and there was a few songs on there that my fans loved. And you can find them on YouTube, but I never put them out on an album. So I will be selling that album at the concert. Mm, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so, is there any special preparation in your in the next your next concert in solo? Yes, um, I'm working with a combination of Indonesian musicians and American musicians. Yeah. So um, I'm excited to work with the musicians. It'll be the first time all of them have come together as a band, but I've worked with them separately. And um, mm -hmm. I'm doing some. I'm doing some of the songs that I love the most, and uh, I think my fans will be very happy. I, I hope they'll be happy. I hear that the tickets um, have sold very well, so I'm very flattered yeah. that my fans have not forgotten me and they're loyal. And I've never been to Solo before. Yeah. I've been to Jakarta. I've been to Bandung. I've been to Bali. I've been to Surabaya, but I've never been to Solo. Yeah, it's about Solo. Uh, what do you have? What what the what do you know about this city? Well, I know that your president is from Solo. <laughs> oh my, God. yeah, yeah, I, Mr. Jokowi, yeah. I know that it's like Jakarta, but not quite as busy. Um, and everybody says that the fans there. Are like Tommy Page, so that's pretty good, I hope. <laughs> um, it'll be my first time. I'm excited to go to a city in Indonesia I've never been to before. Yeah, did you do uh, some browsing on Google about Solo uh, so you can prepare yourself? Uh, oh, yes. what, what do you expect from this small city, actually? Well, I don't know, but I've been... Um, I didn't Google it. My uh, my manager told me about Solo, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. so that's how I know about it. Um, I looked up the map. I saw where it was, and I've never been there. I saw the pictures of the venue I was going to, mm. and a lot of fans from Indonesia have been sending me messages about coming there. So yeah. I'm excited to to meet everybody. You've been in Indonesia so many times. In fact, in the last three years you've been here in concert or three times. Uh, so what what might what what what's is so special about Indonesia so that, so that you you come so often here? 
Yeah. Uh, well, Indonesia has been very loyal to me, and I grew up mm. in Indonesia, meaning that I first went to Indonesia when I was only 18 years old, and that was many, many years ago. And mm. I've been there so many times. Uh, for many years, I stopped performing, I was just working on the side. When I got the offer to come to Jakarta, I was afraid nobody would show up at my concert. Mm. And then when I visited um, at the airport, there were so many fans there, and I couldn't believe that my fans have remembered me. So I will always have a very special place in my heart for my fans in Indonesia. After after several times coming here, what do you really like? What do you love about this country? I like the people. Yeah, of I, course. I like their taste in music because we all... I always love the music I hear on the radio. I love the local artists. Mm. I love... Uh, I love my friend, my fans, and my friends that I see every time I go back there. Um, I've worked with some young artists like uh, yeah, Chitra Scholastica. Uh, yeah, yeah, she's she's become a good friend of mine. Uh, I've connected yeah. with many, uh, people like you in broadcast. I've connected on Twitter, and I've I have I follow people. And um, mm. I'm connected to Indonesia. When I go to bed at nighttime, every night, I go on to social media. Mm. And I see all the activity going on in Indonesia. So yeah. when you're when I'm sleeping, you guys are moving. So I feel <laughs> like I a lot with Indonesia at nighttime. So right now it's uh, 10 p.m. at night on my birthday. Mm. Yeah. A and um, as you can see, <clears throat> oh, you want to see something really cool? Yeah. I'm going to show you something. I have a view of New York City. Hmm. Let's see. Anyway, anyway, I live. Uh, I live on a hill, and you can see mm. New York City from from my house. Um, yeah. So right now, I wanted to show you New York. So you're connecting to the other side of the world. So while you guys are all um, talking to me, Carter, I'm about to go to sleep now, and I will have sweet dreams tonight because I'm going to be in Indonesia. Okay. Uh, you 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 sang a lot of songs. You sang. You have so many songs, several albums. Uh, the one special, one particular song is "Shoulder to Cry," which my mom loves it a lot. Mom has good taste. <laughs> yeah, I I almost heard it. Every day when I was, chill, uh, I was still a child. I was uh, five years old or six years old. That that's uh, nice to hear. I love to hear that. That makes me feel very good. So when you were five years old, you listened to my music. Yeah. So maybe my, maybe my concert will take many people back to their <laughs> childhood. Okay. Uh, is what is that your really special for song or is there any other songs that you actually uh, this is so me but not so many people like it okay well my favorite song of my own is a shoulder to cry on that was definitely yeah, yeah. Oh. the most per the most personal but i also love minetta lane minetta lane is a, a song on my very first album that i wrote mm -hmm. uh, i lived across the street from a street called minetta lane I also love um, a song that I recorded that I did not write called Whenever You Close Your Eyes. I have um, another song that I love called When I Dream of You that I recorded. So I'll be singing all of those songs in my concert and solo. The last time you 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 do your uh, work on your song is the I Break Down in 2005. Uh, I watched the video clip on YouTube. So, when's your maybe you are? You, do you have a plan to write new songs to compose new sure. albums? Yeah. So, I break down is something I recorded last year. Yeah. And I I made the video last year, and um, that was the first time I'd made a video in 20 years. Hmm. And. I definitely have more songs that are new. I just haven't found the time to go record a new album. So mm -hmm. I hope we'll, we'll be doing that very soon. But 
I won't put out a full album at once. I'll do like a song at a time, like I did with High yeah. Breakdown. I actually watched it uh, several times. I love the the last version more than the the original versions. It's it feels Me like too. the the content of the song uh, and the composition is more synced. Thank you. Well, I wrote that song when I was uh, 17 years old. No, 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 no. Oh. I was like, no, 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 no. It was my second album. I was 19 years old, and um, it's one of those songs that the lyrics still. Makes uh, uh, it makes sense to me now, as I'm now 46 years old. I still <laughs> lis- I still um, s- li- listen to the lyric. The lyric I still feel throughout all of my life is is uh, applies. So I wanted to do a new interpretation of it. Uh, so you actually write wrote your songs in a very young age, as a teenager. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to know how how do you start? You you become a star. You you have so many fans in Indonesia. So how is how is it all started? How do you become start, you are it, now? It started because um, I had big dreams when I was a kid, and mm-hmm. I was um, I was pretty driven as a young kid. And at the time, I didn't think anything was enough. I thought mm-hmm. uh, I was a bit naive. Even I thought that I could do anything I wanted to do, and I'm glad I thought that because now I might be a little bit more shy about it. But I, when I was a kid, I was pretty aggressive. I'm getting another. I'm getting another call from uh, the next interview, but uh, um, I got to say goodbye. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Page. Uh, uh, I have one more uh, a request. Actually, uh, would you like to? Say something to your fans in Solo, in Indonesia, yes. uh, and encourage them to maybe come on watch watch uh, the concert, and maybe sing sure. one or two lines of your song, and then followed by. Sure. That. Hi, this is Tommy Page, and I want to say hello to all of my fans in Indonesia. I am looking forward to coming to Solo on Friday, June third. For my first concert ever in solo, I will always be your shoulder to cry on and your friend to rely on. I'll be your everything. I can't wait to see you all, and I can't wait to perform you all for you all. Thank you very much. Yeah.